What is up everyone and it's Zion here from KTMX.Pro Today I'm going to show you how to fix lags on Battlefield 1 Now in Battlefield 1 you get a lot of lags because of your CPU and it is a special CPU demanding game So today I'm going to show you how to fix it I'm using i3-3220 which is a cheap processor and you might already know that it's, it's a laggy processor, but still I'm getting a lot of FPS. And it's all because of my fix. You get high FPS also in premium mode, but there's no server, so I'm playing in this map. Now, to, be, uh, to begin my fix, I'm going to close my game because there would be a lot of things to show you. So at first I'm going to close this game. Hmm. It looks like it will take a lot of time. Well, here we go. We're going to click on more and go into the graphics settings. So we're going to click on video. And you're going to have to turn on vertical synchronization because it's important. And then click on advance. Now in here you see DirectX 12 enabled. If you have a low in GPU or medium, you're gonna have to turn it off just like I have GTX 1050. So I'm going to click on off button because it's important. And then you must turn off the GPU restriction if you have a 4GB GPU because it's, it's also important just like I said before. And okay, and you can also see the settings and set it to the same as mine if you have GTX 1050 and the same setup and you have to turn up ambient occultation is also important and it's not only the fix because there's a lot of things to do so you're gonna have to turn up Battlefield 1 what okay I'm gonna click on quit once again I know it will close now the advanced things we're gonna do is going to NVIDIA control panel. You can just right click on your window and click on NVIDIA control panel. And after that, you're gonna click on manage 3D settings. And there we go. We're going to click on program settings. And after, after we're gonna click on it, there'll be a lot of settings shown up. So after that, we're gonna click on add button. When you click on add, you are going to open up Battlefield 1. You can also do it on AMD graphics card because there is also settings for it. Like 3D settings. I guess it's not CUDA settings but there are 3D settings. And then as you click on the add button, you are going to add your program which is Battlefield 1. And click on add selected program. After that, there will be a lot of settings, you might get confused. But let me tell you what. On maximum pre-render frames, you're gonna select one. And that is final. You can't select the other volumes because they're not going to fix your issues. And then the vertical synchronization must be turned off. Even in game it's turned off, but you can just turn it off if you want much more better performance. But you can click on the fast which is which is preferable for me. And not only that, we have a lot of stuff to do, so I'm going to show you. At first, we are going to this folder. I'm going to give you this folder later. On the, um, I'm going to upload it to some website and give you the link in the description. And then, I'm going to open up this image file. This image file was created by me because uh, it's important and I might forget what to delete. And here, there are three files selected by shift mouse click and something like that. We are going to BF1 folder from document. And here we go. In Battlefield 1 folder, we're going to double click on a settings folder where we had these files. There is profile that uh, profiles, profile synchronized profile and uh, metadata which is going to be deleted and it's done 
after you have deleted you will get good performance when it's all done we can go to our folder once again and there's a little i3 fix and also for your i5 if it's really unloaded so we're going to copy it at first we're going to click on off copy and we're going to our battlefield 1 folder it might be on your pro program files or maybe in this folder as i have saved it in here and you can see a user cfg file we're going to paste it and replace it and it's pretty much safe it's going to make your game a much more smoother and it's only for your cpu and yeah that's all so now it's all done and you can check your battlefield one and you'll see a lot of improvements for your performance i hope you guys like the video comment down if you have any kinds of question and i'll catch you up guys later